Hey guys, welcome to my second video. I just completed my painting of Kaneki from Tokyo Gold. Um, it was another commissioned piece and thank you to Madison who bought this for her best friend. Her best friend's a Tokyo Gold fan, obviously. And um, also thank you to my newest Patreons who subscribed and uh, is ha really helped supporting the channel, so appreciate it. And again, if you want to follow my Patreon, it's right here. There's a $5 package and a $10 package and make sure you subscribe to the channel. As I said, there's gonna be a vi new video out every couple of days, because I'm gonna be pumping the paintings out hard. And guys, I now have a TikTok. Um, I'm gonna also be uploading on that, so make sure you follow my channel on that, and I don't know if it's called, what's it called? Re-talk, re-tiktok? Is it a retweet or? <laughs> what do you do? Do you re-talk? <laughs> There's no retalk. Oh, <laughs> all right. Just like the TikTok. Um, I didn't know there was no retalks. <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys very much for the support you've shown um, early on in this channel. I appreciate it. And uh, enjoy Luke's narration of Am I in the Wrong? What? What? Isn't that what you're doing? Am I the asshole? <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Enjoy Luke's narration of Am I the asshole? All right, catch. Hey guys, welcome back to Jay's second speed art video. It's good to be back. The response was good with the last video. Uh, I didn't read any of the comments. I just got a text from my mum saying she liked it. So I'm assuming everyone liked it. Sorry guys, I have to pause the video for a sec. The kid is about to make Jay bleed. Ah, oh, fuck! He just fucking made me bleed. This is what I cop every day while I'm painting. Abuse from the fucking kitty. Look at that! Abuse in my own fucking workspace. Naughty! There's blood everywhere! Anyway, back to the story. Yeah, well I've got another story here today. It's not Am I the Arsehole, but it's from a Reddit post, so here it goes. I put my period blood in my boyfriend's spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I know there's a weird scenario, but please just bear with me. Basically, in my family, believing in folklore and old wives tales is pretty common. One story is that if a guy consumes your menstrual fluid, he'll be super devoted to you forever. Fuck, this girl's screaming psycho bitch. Long story short, I started dating my current boyfriend a little over a year ago. Things were casual. I liked him, but wasn't sure if his feelings were as intense as mine were. He was still getting over her next and made that very clear to me. I was starting to wonder if this was just a rebound relationship. Anyway, one night, I offered to cook for him at my apartment. Prior to that, we'd always gone out to eat and he generally insisted on paying, so I figured he'd appreciate the gesture. He did. I was on my cycle. I have really bad periods. Always have. Lots of cramping, high emotions, etc. I don't know what I was even thinking, but I decided to add just a little bit blood to the sauce. I don't want to get too graphic, so I'll spare you the details of how I went about it. Well, thank fuck for that. When he came over, he was none the wiser. He ate the pasta and I pretended I was too ill to eat heavy food and he just opted to pick out the salad. Fucking sneaky psycho. Looking back, I am horrified that this happened and even more horrified that I allowed him to eat the food. I'm sure he had no idea and I've never mentioned it to this day. Well, obviously he has no fucking idea. Shortly after that, we became exclusive. Well, I guess it worked, didn't it? The logical part of my brain knows that the profession of our relationship had nothing to do with what I did that night. But the superstitious part of me has always wondered, what if? What if he doesn't really love me? What if I somehow manipulated his feelings and he doesn't even know? I've been wrestling lately with whether to tell him the truth. I honestly love this guy more than anything. He's super sweet and attentive and never fails to make me laugh. Sorry guys, once again I have to pause the story. Mum's ass is in the way. Fuck, hate when that happens. Right <laughs> Sorry guys, that was the last interruption. Back to the story. I don't want to lose him over some stupid thing I did a year ago when I was feeling insecure. Advice? Well, if you don't want him to dump you, well, I guess it'd be pretty stupid to tell him because that's just the most fucked up thing I've ever heard. And he'll definitely dump your ass and you should consider handing yourself into the police actually. That's probably the best thing. Or just lock yourself away in a mental institution. Um, that's probably the best advice that I can offer. Stupid, disgusting, grotty, fucking psycho. Would you like if he added a bit of fucking cum in your... Oh, you probably swallow that shit every day anyway, don't you? 
Would you like it if you peed in your fucking beer? Or just put a little shit particles in your Nutella or something? You probably would like it though if it brought him closer to you, wouldn't you? Fucking grotty. This woman is definitely the type of woman that's gonna end up alone with 30 cats. She seems psycho, like, this is the type of woman I've been fearing my whole life. Everything at the start is normal, but just slowly, slowly as years go on, or day goes on, you get more and more and more psycho. One of the comments on this post, um, someone said, well, people are overreacting on here. It's disgusting, but love is love. Okay, yeah, love is love, so that means you just go and fucking squat in someone's fucking pasta sauce and marinate it with your period blood. Ugh. Fuck me. Yeah, if a girl did that to me, um, I definitely wouldn't want to know, but a psycho woman like her, she's not going to stop there. She's going to keep doing more and more psycho shit, and eventually, she's going to get caught. I wouldn't tell him, only because he's going to find out eventually what a psycho bitch you are, and yeah, please don't have children, please. All right. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little story. And I hope you enjoyed this speed up video. I look forward to joining you in the next one. Thanks to everyone who subscribed and followed Jay's TikTok. Um, really appreciate it. I'm working hard to produce all this content for you. So um, thanks for the feedback and the support. I'll see you soon. Laters. Yeah.